Hi, I'm Andrew Holden, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the sustainable practice of home composting. I like the compost for three main reasons. The first being it keeps my food scraps out of the landfill. The second is that I can use the compost to help improve the soil quality uh, and the drainage in my garden, like right here behind me. And then third, it is a source of nutrients that I can use in my flower beds and in my garden so that I can use less uh, chemical and manufactured fertilizers. One decision you will have to make when you decide to start composting is which kind of pile you would like to have. This pile is an example of a simple heap. There's no cost for this as you are just piling up your compostable material in one spot and it is easy to provide aeration and turn when needed. The disadvantage of this style is that it can attract animals, it can spread out and become messy, and it may be unsightly for some people. Next up, we have a closed bin system. This system allows you to keep the compost all in one spot. It looks a little neater than the simple heap style, and it can be low cost if you build it yourself. This one has the ability to take the front and the top off so that you can have easy access to provide aeration and turn the compost when needed. Finally, we have an example here of a turning drum bin. This can make compost a lot quicker than the other styles mentioned, but it is the most expensive and depending on size, it may be too small for your usage. Once you select the bin that you would like to use, the next step is to start filling it up. We recommend a compost recipe of three parts brown material to one part green material. An example of green material is material high in nitrogen such as vegetable and fruit straps, eggshells, and coffee grounds. An example of high carbon brown material is paper products, dry leaves in the fall, or sawdust. We also recommend that you don't add any household pet manure, meat, fish, dairy products, anything with oil or fat, or treated lumbers or plywoods. In my kitchen, I have a container that I use for my food straps that I take out to the compost pile every couple days. I repurpose a yogurt container to hold my food straps, but if you need more room, try using a coffee tin or an ice cream pail. Remember, meat and bones like these leftover chicken wing straps should not be going in your compost bin. As you begin to build your pile, remember that the composting process takes water and oxygen. Make sure that your compost stays moist but not wet, and make sure that you turn your compost pile with a pitchfork or a shovel every month to make sure that it's getting the proper amount of oxygen. Your compost is completed when it is crumbly and dark brown and has the feel of potting soil. It is then ready to be used in your flower beds and gardens. Composting at home is a great sustainable practice because it keeps your food scraps out of the landfill and gives you an organic nutrient to use around your house.